Well, I guess when inflation is 9.2%, crime waves are spreading across the country, and your president is a barely sentient, broken down Chuck E. Cheese animatronic, you don't have much you can do but point to something and deflect that's completely irrelevant. In this case, the Democrat media is attempting to make an issue out of the fact Josh Hawley raised his fist in solidarity with protesters, suggesting he was doing so with rioters, even though this picture was taken hours before the first clashes with riot police. The media and the Democrats are all having a big laugh over this video that was presented at the sham show trial yesterday. Take a look. Senator Josh Hawley also had to flee. Earlier that afternoon, before the joint session started, he walked across the east front of the Capitol. As you can see in this photo, he raised his fist in solidarity with the protesters already amassing at the security gates. We spoke with a Capitol Police officer who was out there at the time. She told us that Senator, Senator Hawley's gesture riled up the crowd, and it bothered her greatly because he was doing it in a safe space, protected by the officers and the barriers. Later that day, Senator Hawley fled after those protesters he helped to rile up stormed the Capitol. See for yourself. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna tear apart their entire premise, but first check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Folks, we are to the point where gas is $7 a gallon in some places. A 10 year old Honda Civic could set you back 20K and rent is over $2,000 a month. Welcome to 9.2% inflation. Let's go Brandon, I agree. You might've heard about gold IRAs, but don't know much about them. That's why Noble Gold has a team of experts at the other end of the phone. They'll put you straight on what you can and can't do to get yourself to financial safety again. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold-proof coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. All this scandalous video shows is Josh Hawley jogging through the halls as he was most likely evacuated by the Capitol Police. They're also running this quote from one of the Democrat Capitol officers who is one of the more cringy characters on this show who proved the hearing seriousness by proclaiming quote. I mean, to be completely honest, to give you my like the first thoughts that popped into my mind was Josh Hawley is a and he ran like Wow, so professional and so serious. Um, and the fist pump combined with uh, what he did in the immediate aftermath just shows the true character or lack thereof. I'm sorry, how exactly does pumping your fist at peaceful protesters diminish one's character? Here, once again, we see this leftist trope that they're trying to normalize, that the only legitimate protest is one pushing their agenda. All others are inherently bad. I mean, to be completely honest, to give you my, like, the first thoughts that popped into my mind was Josh Hawley is a <laughs> and he ran like says Michael Fanone, who has since retired from law enforcement and is now on CNN as a contributor. Seriously? Come on! So this guy is a Democrat, hates Republicans, hates Josh Hawley, is a CNN contributor, and we're supposed to take this all seriously? We are a nation with many pivotal historic moments that shook the world, but few come close to the words spoken by one very serious American hero. As Michael Fanone recounted his harrowing experience at the January 6th insurrection, he channeled the founding fathers themselves while describing an elected representative he was supposed to be protecting, saying, Josh Hawley is a bitch. 
He ran like a bitch. These words will reverberate through history. So, so super serious. It's just weird how motivated the media is to express their outrage that Josh Hawley would show his solidarity with these protesters, which I'm sure is violating like 300 laws, but then to also mock him for evacuating the Capitol like they were supposed to do. So push it. All of it. All right, folks, that's it for that one. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If so, please hit that like button, share it, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.